Next on Newsmakers, one Western Washington mayor is adapting the strengths of her volunteers and fulfilling city needs at the same time. Details coming up. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We're at the annual meeting of the Association of Washington Cities in the Tri-Cities this year. And joining me right now is the mayor of Sultan, Washington, Mayor Carolyn Eslick. So nice to Hi. see you, Mayor. Thank Thanks you. for coming on the program and yes. joining us again. Thank you very much. A lot of people know about Sultan, have been to Sultan before, but some have not. So tell us a little bit about Sultan, where you're located and sure. how many call it home. All right. Well, we're located on Highway 2, just east of Everett, about 20 miles. We're at the base of the Cascades. A lot of folks think we get a lot of snow. We don't. It's 96 feet above sea level, so Seattle gets more snow than we do. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But we have about 4,500 folks that live in our little town of Sultan. And is it a town that's growing? It's or kind of steady with we've population. We've steady the last three years with the economy the way it is, but um, we're getting prepared because the growth is coming. The growth is coming. So you mentioned the economy. You said the economy the way it has been. Yes. So I take it that it's been challenging it's been like tough. it has been in yes. many other cities all, all across America, right. of course. Um, so talk about how you are utilizing your volunteers and putting their strengths to work for you and at the same time fulfilling city needs. It's been absolutely phenomenal. When I took office five years ago, we had some real challenges with the budget and it got worse after that. But we started an organization called Block Watch or Neighborhood Watch. And out of that, the volunteer program grew from about uh, 40 folks to over 600 people that we call volunteers now that come out when we need projects taken care of. And what sort of projects are they doing? Oh, they could be cleaning streets. We um, have painting the crosswalks. They're, they're projects that the city staff can't do anymore because of our staffing limitations. Um, it could be adopt a steep street program. We have 16 miles of street in the city of Sultan, and 15 miles of that 16 miles is adopted. And we make sure that the folks get their name on the plaque on the street, adopted by the Miller family or the Nucky family. Um, and that particular program was started by a couple in our city. And we have volunteers um, managing volunteers now. So it's and incredible. It sounds like volunteers are showing up at your doorstep. You're not having to go out and beg people no, to come and we volunteer. Don't. No, we don't. We, another big program of ours is the CERT program, which is a citizen's uh, emergency response team. Mm -hmm. And we work with the fire department and the Department of Emergency Management and put on a class every year. And it's amazing how many people turn out to spend hours to learn what to do in case there's an emergency. And so those folks, too, are, whenever there's a, a flood, sometimes we have floods in Sultan, the people come out in droves to help us make sure that we take care of folks that their house is flooding and we need to get them evacuated. Um, a lot of sandbagging goes on during that time and we have students that are organized to come out and fill sandbags. So as the economy improves, perhaps the the budget restrictions won't be as tight, but do you still see in the future a, a need to utilize your volunteers or would the program go away no, or you hope to continue it's, this? It's turned into a community program where um, the community getting involved has made us a real healthy community. I see it only growing. We, um, I hold an hour for coffee every Friday morning at our local chocolate factory at 9 o'clock and it's a galaxy chocolate on Main Street. We started out with five people. We've had as many as four 40 people that come and just talk about the city and how they can get involved. We've met, married some of the volunteers up with the students at Boys, Boys and Girls Club. Uh, there's some incredible things that have come out. Mayor Eslick, thanks so much for Thank talking you. about your volunteers. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers.